Brian Richmond. My first course was August last year. I live in London, Norbury. G Last month, Gareth was so concerned about the deterioration in his speech, he made the time to go to a support group for recovering stammerers like himself who'd attended a Maguire course. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Gareth found he wasn't able to use the technique as well as the others in the group, and he struggled to say his name. Trying to hit the first sound. She said it the first sound. Gareth Gates. My first course was in Liverpool. And I'm from Bradford. The technique is something that I should be doing. Um, um, all the time, um, you know, to get um, where you want to be. Uh, but um, I be honest with you, um, I don't, um, I don't really do it all the time. Um, um, you know, because of um, of the time that I have, uh, really, really busy. Everything's happening so fast. One to seventeen. Number five. Please don't be long. <laughs> Next in the session, it's the big test. It's Gareth's turn to read out a poem to the group. He's given the lyrics to one of his own songs. You are joking. <laughs> I put one of his songs in, I didn't know. He chose number five, so... Okay. That's when you know. He's done incredibly well to be where he is, and I think he has truly come a long way since his first course. I think something he really regrets himself is that he doesn't get time to practice. I mean, I practice my speech every day, and he has to do that, and he feels at the moment that he's not having the time to do that. For everyone, the story goes. There's a special someone. Story goes. There's a special someone to make them whole. To make them whole. Someone to, to give their heart. their heart completely. Gareth can't attend the support groups as often as he needs to. He's spending his time making it big in Europe on whistle stop promotional tours like this one to Holland. I'm after going out, Scott, to. All right, have a good show. Cheers, guys, thank you. Gareth's just finished a gruelling session of magazine interviews and is now in a rush on his way to perform at Dutch Pop Idol. We all know, we all hear from artists how much they, they say they have to travel, they have to promote, go into other territories. So obviously they're doing rounds and rounds of interviews. Whereas for Gareth, this is going to be a little bit more of a problem. Um, meeting new people is uh, often how I do my speech. Um, like, it probably hard to do when I meet people. But, you know, but I'm just going to go in, you know, have a laugh and go, you know, what are you doing or whatever. I suppose this is, you know, you know it's all... Um, um, uh, uh, in with the job, I suppose, and you know, it's what has to be done. Um, and I'm really, really, really pleased to be, um, yeah, exactly, um, where I am. So I'm not complaining, even though I am shattered, but uh, I'm not complaining. But I would really appreciate if you give me it just. It is more difficult to get someone's character, their personality across if interviews are a problem for them, which they are obviously with Gareth.
in a way now everybody accepts he has a stammer and people are probably quite tolerant of the fact and he certainly has made it more acceptable I think in today's society Gareth's trip to Holland is gaining him a whole new set of fans and all is going to plan Hi there, guys. But then, when he goes to meet the Dutch pop idol contestants, he suddenly and unexpectedly finds himself in an interview situation. Man, you guys are awesome. Sure, what, what, what did you think about uh, the level of the, of the singers, of the talent? Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely, I, I was going, no way, they're as good as that. But, uh, mm. yeah, the, um, 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 uh, <laughs> it's difficult, eh? Um, hey, I'm sorry, now I'm finding out to speak. <laughs> is it all going, yeah? Without doubt, one day he will be a very strong, eloquent speaker. You just have to listen to him play or sing to know that he has had to work hard to be that good a musician and that good a singer. And anyone who can do that has the, necessarily, the necessary discipline to become a very good speaker. It's just a question of actually putting the work in. It's something which I've, um, which I've really got to tell myself, right, look, um, I'm going to make a stand for this now and, and um, really, really go for it. So. Do you think that time will come when it won't be on the back burner? It'll yeah. be the main thing you want to do? Yeah. Absolutely. Gareth may still feel he has a long way to go with his speech, but in many ways, he's already fulfilled his ambition. I know Gareth really is an inspiration to so many people, and I know he's had a lot of letters and correspondence from people who might have physical disabilities or perhaps are blind or are not the norm to say, you have given me the inspiration, you're very courageous, you explain it in your own words, we understand about your struggle, I have this struggle, but you've given me the belief to carry on. Right from the start, I've always said that I really want to help people. And, and I mean, just hope that all that I've done is really inspire really inspire people to never give up on the dream. <laughs>